welcome to another episode of Three Thrones in the Woo Woo. I am one of your three hosts, Gail Nicholson, resilient coach and all around miracle maker. To my side, I have Damaris Tamalinski, intuitive healer, medical astrologer with Ask the Genie, and always supporting us down there, uh, Krista Ducharme, intuitive healer, life coach with dimensional healing with Krista. Hi, ladies. How has your week been? Hey, it's been good. It's been hot over here in New York. But otherwise, oh. it's been nice. It's been nice. Good. Nice. Yeah. Krista, you've been traveling over the weekend. What's What was going I, on with I've you? I've been. Well, we've been doing a lot of different fun things because, of course, it's opening up here in the Netherlands. And so over the weekend, um, we went to Delft. And that's just, that is the correct pronunciation. Um, we Holland? United, yes. We okay. in the United States say Delft. Because in English, we think the T is silent. It's not here in the Netherlands. It's kind of like we say Gouda when it's actually Hoda. Really? Yes. So I learned that. I've learned quite a lot. I never this knew very that. excited. Gouda. Jeez. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I so, know if you ask an Italian to say, um, uh, what the heck is that cheese? They say it a whole, a whole lot of cheese. That's it. That, well, all of them. Yeah. yeah, so we say Parmesan. Mm -hmm. It's Parmigiano. Parmigiano. Too complicated. Just shake it on my spaghetti. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just abbreviate. It's Parm. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so we went to Delft. Nice. And, and that's we where they make that beautiful white china with the blue yeah. on it, right? Yeah. Did you get to see some of that? That's some of my we, mom's it favorite. Was everywhere we get to see some um the factory itself wasn't open because uh that op that it opened the next day so you could go and see um so you could actually go see it happening and you know them creating but we are going to go back there it is an amazing area it was just one of those vibe kind of places that you just felt like you belonged you know, it's kind of like cheers. Mm -hmm. You walk yeah. in, <laughs> you belong. Right? And those uh, pictures were so beautiful that you posted. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, and they were all taken with my camera phone. And I did not, the only alteration I did was crop them a bit. That was it. Nice. Yeah. Very so nice. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, and, and then today, okay, so I did something wicked Dutch today. Wicked really, really, Dutch. Really, really Dutch. Okay, not <laughs> gonna add that Boston side in. <laughs> I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so I did something really Dutch today. I have an e bike, which we've had now for about three three weeks, maybe. And and um, so I've been riding it, and part in today, I actually rode it to a meeting and back that I had to go to, and I dressed up because the Dutch women dress. And they'll ride their bikes everywhere. I mean, we are talking like dressed up, wow. high heels, everything. So today I'm like, well, you know what? If the Dutch women can do it, so can I. Ah. So I put myself dressed and I put on my heels and I pedaled my bike. Nice. <laughs> How was it? It actually, it, it really was good. I was on smooth, I was on smooth paths. I, you know, I wasn't like when I ride with my husband, he inevitably finds a, you know, off the beaten path path. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I really um, forgot how much I ride. I like riding bikes. And it's good so, exercise. Mm -hmm. It's outstanding exercise. Yeah. And um, the Dutch bikes are ergonomically, better for us because they make you you can sit up higher so you're sitting more erect now nice. granted you can sit so you're leaning forward but as i said to my bike my bike guy i'm like you know i really don't need feel the need to be hunched over anymore take a picture of your bike i want to see it oh yeah i will yeah. i yeah i'll post i actually i'll share it with the group yes so you guys can all see my bike I want to see. Very cool. I mean, cool. e-bikes I recommend, but only get the ones with pedal assist. 
So yeah. Are the real... e-bikes a little bit heavier because of the electric motor yeah. in them? Yeah. So without yeah. the assist, you're hauling rather than. Well, it, yeah, it is. Um, so we figure our bikes weigh about 60 pounds with our battery pack and everything. And our very first, so when Kevin and I um, got married, our very first bikes were heavy as well. And they were our mode of transportation. Mm -hmm. And so I would have to carry my bike up and down a steel set of stairs Yikes. to our apartment. Yeah, and so you get strong. I, I really get strong fast. I don't mm -hmm. have that here, so <laughs> I'm not worrying about lifting my bike up over my head. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. I think that that's awesome. We, I love the pictures. I love the canals that you saw. Yeah. You know, had took pictures of, and yeah. it was really nice to see people out and you know sitting at cafe tables. Mm -hmm. And I love that little one. You you vore your you. You took a picture of this two, this young couple in <laughs> love sitting on the edge of their window. Yeah. Oh, so adorable. yeah, we watched that while we, we were there for about a good forty five minutes, and we were watching them. And it was just, they were too cute. Yeah. Why? And you just, I mean, the three of us, because Jen was with us as well. And so the three of us are watching them. And it's just like, okay, you know, that's just. Really cool. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. It must be Damaris. Me, I'm oh. moving around. So <laughs> oh, okay. All right, because I'm like, who's Mike just did that? But and yeah, for I'm all of our audience, I apologize in your earbuds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just moved my chair. Sorry. No it's okay. No worries. No worries. But Gail, you did something exciting this past weekend. I did. I did. Um, my daughter and I and her daughter, my granddaughter, mm -hmm. um, went camping by ourselves. No men folk. Mm -hmm. It was phenomenal. Um, we went and one of the things that we like to do is we, we pick a campground, but then we tour the whole campground to see all of the different sites. Mm -hmm. And um, then we pick one, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, so this time around we toured and we toured and this site has an area that you can't get through unless you've got an ATV. So we had to back up and we had uh, scraped up the sides of the truck and the whole nine yards. But we get around this bend and we pick a little site and I don't know why we picked this site but as my daughter is like brushing it off to get the, the rocks out of the way, I hear another vehicle a little bit further up and I look over and there's clear sky and I'm like, Hmm, maybe that one might be better. So I go over there and I talk to the guy. I'm like, are you coming or going? And he said, I just packed up. I'm leaving. I'm like, great. Stay here until I get your sight. <laughs> <laughs> and then as we were doing that transfer, he's telling me, Oh, but there's another one just next door. You got to go check it out. There's nobody there. So I go there and it is completely open. You've wow. got just the, the buttes on one side, the valley on the other, and the whole thing is laid out in front of you. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. There was two, three huge trees provided shade in one spot that we put the tent under there, set up the whole kitchen. And like I was telling you girls before we started the show, my daughter was a little worried because it was such a prime location. She's like, well, hopefully, you know, nobody's going to join us and find, cause there was probably, you could fit at least four campsites into wow. this area. There was a couple oh, wow. of fire pits and everything. Mm -hmm. And, and I was like, nope, this place is invisible. Nobody else can see it, but us. <laughs> there you and we, go. Had, we had one truck, drive in, take a look at the scenery and leave. That's amazing. And, yeah, it was phenomenal. Unfortunately, I do a hybrid camping glamping thing. I don't do an RV, but my yep. tent is essentially a, it's a master suite, okay? Mm -hmm. I got an air mattress with real nice. linens. I got a little table to do my stuff on. And um, so we, put the laptop up to watch midnight movies in the tent. And we all fell asleep during the movie and didn't unplug it from the truck. So in the morning, <laughs> the truck wouldn't start. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, you had to call the rescue team in? 
I did and it took yeah. Bill a couple of hours and he came up and, and we invited him to stay. He slept in the truck overnight. Um, and it was really nice because the next day we took the baby down to the creek and it was it, it was really, really beautiful, really wonderful. It was very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Then when we get home, I find out from our best friend's Facebook posts that their family was camping about 11 minutes away from us. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And if I had known that, I probably would have called, you know, the husband of our best friends and said, hey, could you bring your Jeep over here for a couple minutes and, you know, give the truck a jump? But then Bill would have missed out on this beautiful scenery and this time mm -hmm. with my granddaughter tossing rocks in the, mm -hmm. the water. Yeah. So, you know, it, it all it fell into out. line perfectly. And, uh, and I just love it. Now, on the downside... My lips are so chapped, you could grate cheese on them right now. Oh, wow. And wow. right here in the middle, cracked. So oh, you, it, it was an absolute comedy of horrors watching me put my lipstick on today. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it was bad. It bad. Real bad. Mm. So I want to say a quick hello to everybody who's watching us yeah. so far. Uh, Michelle, Norma, Adam, so good to see you guys. There's somebody else that hasn't made a mention yet, uh, so I, I don't know exactly who you are. But welcome. And uh, welcome. welcome. Right? We want to invite all of you to definitely check out our sponsor, Sue at Class Act Imports. She has all of your crystal needs. And if anybody saw um, earlier, uh, a post about aventurine. It's a great crystal, but it's not the crystal of the day today. Yeah, and, and um, I think I, that may be my bust. <laughs> Krista <laughs> confused mom before the show. I did, uh, I, did. I did, I did. So you know, we'll we'll get to that in a little bit. Hey, but one thing, I'm going to make it up to her. I got a really awesome. I got a package today. I love package Ooh. days, and this ring oops, Ooh, from Classic Imports. Very nice. Doll sterling silver. Isn't that gorgeous? It is gorgeous. I usually so. can't wear big rings like this, but she's like, no, I think you can, and surprised me, and it was in the package. That's Gotta awesome. Beautiful. I cannot wait to see all of the stuff oh. that she got over this past weekend at that fair. <gasps> right? <laughs> so, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, you know those little – so, okay. Behind the scenes, we three are having a conversation with our sponsor, Class Act Imports. And we're having this via text. I'm in Amsterdam. I'm traveling around in Amsterdam at the time. And she's like, I have this great deal on these incredible crystal necklaces. Oh my God, ladies, wait until you see these necklaces that she got. Wait. I'm excited. They are amazing. I'm excited. Oh, and Damaris, honey, the lapis lazuli oh. one. <laughs> That's my favorite. And the morganite, Gail. Oh. Ooh. She got morganite. Oh, o yes. OMG. Can't wait to see it. Oh, I yes. can't wait. And awesome. they're smooth. And they're, oh, God. Y'all need to go and definitely, hook, yeah, go. It's going to be awesome. When are we going to see this? I think, so she needs a model for it. And um, it may not be until the weekend that we that she actually gets help unless my dad becomes a willing model. <laughs> <laughs> This I would pay to see. Oh I, you God. know, I, I think a lot of people would pay to see this. And if Michael, and if Michael watches this, I'm sure he'll be. Uh, Michael Tobin is just he is the coolest guy. He's an actor, friend of ours, and Michael is amazos. Oh, mom's like I'm working on the photos right now. Yeah, so he'd probably be like all over Al modeling. Yes, please. <laughs> My dad, if he's listening to this, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh. awesome. Can't wait to see it. All of them. Yeah, they're right? amazing. They're um I think I can't remember how many she got. Um, but yeah, they she showed me the she showed me the moonstone one's beautiful. Um, she has a pink tourmaline. Um, and that one's really pretty as well. 
Um, the rose quartz, it's a very pale rose quartz, but it's stunning. And mm -hmm. then there's one I'm not going to mention because I don't want anybody to want it. <laughs> oh, so, so you have the, you have wow. the band on it. No, it's like, no. Um, it, what one is that? I can't remember. So I, she showed me them all and it matches. So she has on their blue turquoise right now. And as just a general overview, if you find a piece of turquoise that you like, you need to purchase it because the turquoise mines are being closed down. It's time for them to rest. Yeah. So my mom has Kingsman turquoise right now. And um, she had a piece that she found and she's like, I couldn't find this until like they went to a fair this weekend and set up and she found it there. And she's like, I think this is for you. And she shows it to me. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so this, uh, that particular necklace looks really awesome with that, with the um, turquoise. And I'm like, yeah, um, I, I think that needs to. <laughs> So they're going to become like a rare stone now then. Yeah, turquoise is um, because they're going to eventually, they're closing down mines um, because they're being overmined. Okay. It's kind of like with lapis lazuli. Yeah. Uh, the reason why it's so expensive is yeah. because A, you can only really get um, true, true lapis lazuli in one area, yeah. which is in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And they can only mine it for a very short period of time. Um, mainly it has to do with weather and, yeah. um, the other is parameters. And so, yeah, it's, it, they're, they're stones that are going to, I'm, th I think of it more as they're going to rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, one of the ones is turquoise. Can so. I share a very, very special piece of turquoise that I found years ago? Yes. It's absolutely phenomenal. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. That is an amazing piece. Beautiful. Oh, well, wait till you see. Wow. Oh, wow. Wait, sorry. This is Beautiful. amber on the other side. Okay. So if it's on, that's more, that's a kapal. No. No, it is amber. No, amber. this is actual amber that got wow. dripped, well, naturally dripped onto this onto rock. This? That's amazing. And it was polished together. This is oh. utterly natural. I don't know That's how awesome. often you will find something like this. No, you I know? don't think, yeah. So yeah, it's very, very special to me. It's been my yes. baby for a long time. And I That's every time I look at it, I'm like, this is, this is I, like I a once in a lifetime kind of, of thing. Of that stone, like uh, Native American, right? Mm-hmm. Right. It's considered to be, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it corresponds with that. Yeah, yeah a lot of people, Beautiful. however, um, Australia has gorgeous turquoise, which people don't associate with Australia. Yeah. Um, and their turquoise is, is stunning, but their mines have been closed for since like the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. That makes so, sense. And for them as well. So, yeah, yeah, it's wow. time. All right, so that's all the crystal stuff until crystal of the week, guys. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> all righty, so let's talk to Damaris a little bit about what's in the stars for us this week. What's going on out there oh, in the right. universe? So let, let's talk about Mercury, right? So Mercury, um, obviously, you know, is in retrograde, but it, it has been in Gemini. It's going to be in Gemini. Started in uh, May 3rd and is going to last till July 9th or July 11th, I'm sorry, it's going to last nine weeks in um, Gemini. So let's talk a little bit about Gemini. What is Gemini? As we all know, Gemini is a dual sign. Gemini is all about, you know, the mind is a thinker. It thinks a lot. It thinks a lot. Also, it has a lot of options during this time, like which way to go. When we use Mercury from the higher perspective, we can then identify, okay, this is what I have to do and then take the actions to do it. When we're not using um, Mercury on the highest perspective, we're all over the place, which that sign Gemini sometimes can be all over the place. They, you know, 
they're scattered. Um, so we have to utilize it from the higher perspective so we can realize what it is that we're meant to do. Everything that happened in 2020 is coming to the forefront right now when Mercury is in retrograde. We have to look at that. We have to look at what we went through. What did we learn? And then from there, move forward into what we're doing next. So that's what the retrograde is about, is about reflecting on the past, 2020. Um, also, Gemini has a solar eclipse on uh, happening on the 10th. That is a promise for a reset into a new world. What world are we stepping into? Um, I always look at the signs and I look at the decants. And I don't know if we have really spoken about the decants of the signs, but the first decan is Gemini to Gemini, which can be all over the place, right? The second decan is Gemini to Libra, which we're in this week. So Libra looks for harmony, it looks for relationship harmonies. So what do you, what relationships do you have to mend? What happened in 2020 with those relationships? Did you lose people during the beginning of the pandemic? Mm -hmm. Because everybody had a different um, sort of like mindset of what was going on. I know that I, a, a couple of friends of mine and I went different ways just because we had different um, sets of opinions and we couldn't meet halfway. So this is a time right now to balance those relationships, balance those, um, you know, bring balance and harmony into those relationships. I'm very big into um, this week actually, I'm very big into um, sacred relationships. So I want relationships that are long-term that will last forever. I don't want relationships that are going to break. So that's what I'm into. And it's so funny because we're into the second decant of Gemini. Now, next week, we're going to go into the third decant of Gemini, which is Gemini to Aquarius. Gemini to Aquarius is all about bringing new reform, bringing new, a new, you know, um, a new way of life, a new way of thinking, a new way of being. It's almost crossing like the tre the threshold. Are we going to cross that threshold into a new world that we create that's better than it has ever been? Or are we going to stay in the same place, um, fighting with one another, you know, not agreeing with each other, not coming halfway? Um, so that's what this is happening all this week and into next week. Um, I said the last time, I think it was the last time, we have to accept what's happening you know, it is what it is, right? We accept what's happening. Then we endure whatever we have to endure. And then we persevere. And that's what I feel like with the Aquarius, Gemini to Aquarius energy, it's what is meant for us to do, persevere. Um, get through everything that's happening and come out better at the other end. Um, also, what I wanna say is that Mercury is in retrograde, so is Neptune. Neptune is about our belief system, so and, and Mercury is about your mind. So are you going to allow your mind to believe something is false or are you gonna find your own truth? That's the higher aspect of Neptune. And I feel like that's what's happening throughout this whole time. We have to raise our consciousness to the higher mind to find the truth that resonates mostly with us and stick to that truth. So that's why these planets are going in retrograde to help us reflect, to help us get into a higher mind and a higher you know, place of um, being. Neptune, again, is the highest, um, when it's at, at, at its peak, it's really about the Christ consciousness. I spoke about that before, where we're all one. We, you know, what happens to me happens to everybody, you know, to everybody ultimately. So we have to sort of like learn from each other, help each other, be there for one another. And I think that what it's called for moving forward for the next five months is how many people are going to come together as one and how many people are going to divide and go separate ways. So it's a lot going on. It's a lot to think about, you know, and each individual is responsible for their own sort of, you know, what they're creating in their lives. So mm -hmm. each of us has to sort of reflect on everything and uh, come into harmony and create a new world where everybody is for one another. I love that. That is phenomenal. Yeah, it, that is. Go. I like that. So the like one that. vibration, right? We're in the one mm -hmm. vibration. That's you know stepping up. You know, the one is about new beginnings. Is about leadership. I feel that if 
we if if we allow if we sit back and allow everybody to do whatever and not step in we're going you know we need leaders in the world if you think about it when we're older and we pass away the young generation is going to be leading the world what kind of world are they leading what what are we leaving behind as a legacy we all need to step up and we all have to step out of our comfort zones, I believe, and do what we're here to do and um, not be afraid, not let anything get in the way of our mission, our purpose, because that's why we came. So I feel like that one resonates with the Gemini um, uh, Aquarius energy mm -hmm. and stepping up. Aquarius is a revolutionized, you know, sort of sign where we came to reform whatever's not working. It's all about social justice. It's all about equality, um, coming together in groups, organizing community. Um, I feel like, let's say in the United States, every town should unite every community state by state county by county, state by state, and then play that model for other countries to follow. I really feel that that's what we need to do. And so that's all bringing it all into a nutshell. Awesome, yeah. awesome stuff. That is, that's awesome. I wish I had known, I didn't even pay attention to what our day was today. In oh, the the world, the yeah, it, it was very poignant for um, the meeting. I went to my first meeting, right? <laughs> Since last January. Mm -hmm. And it was a very poignant thing. And exactly what you're saying, it's about community. It's about, you know, growing and leadership and, and stepping yeah. forward and, and being, being, um, being the change you want to see in the world essentially Absolutely. you know it doesn't you know? work to be separate it doesn't work it doesn't work no. anymore we no. have to come together yeah we're going to have differences of opinions and what i said earlier was that i lost a couple of friends with all of the differences of opinion in 2020 mm -hmm. and um but in reality we have to come together because we're all in this together right we all oh. are in this together and whether we believe differently um we still have to go through this and so, um, again, it's accepting where we are, enduring what has to be endured, and then persevering, which, again, is that Aquarius Gemini energy. Very mm -hmm. good. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of, like, at a loss here. Why? My brain is not holding on to thoughts for more than 30 seconds at a time. <laughs> oh, okay. It's all that outdoorsness. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, thank you for that, Norma. I'm going to pull pull this one onto the screen here. Okay. Uh, let's see. So okay. Norma Velez, who is, okay. is, she's not registered with StreamYard, so you won't see her name. But yeah. she says, we're in a one vibration today. Numerology, uh, 6, 8, 2021, yeah. 10 or 1. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, Here's the thing. I'm going to pull Manilow in here for a second. I guess maybe that's where my hesitation is. It's like I'm crossing the screens here. Okay. But on my birthday in uh, 1980, uh, an album was released called One Voice. Okay. And this song is like the anthem for the world if they would just hear it, oh. in my opinion. Okay, it starts out solo, tenor solo, right? Mm -hmm. One voice singing in the darkness. All it takes is one voice yeah. singing. So they hear what's on your mind. And when you look around, you'll find there's more than one voice. And then the small choir comes in. And then the medium choir comes in. Until at the end, it's just this symphonic wow. crescendo of mm -hmm. voices. Yeah, and I, 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 I have describing it, I get goosebumps. Okay, I have goosebumps. but it is exactly what Damaris is talking yeah. about. It, and here's the best part about this: the song, the story. It came to him in a dream. Wow! He woke up in the middle of the night, rolled over, croaked it into his tape recorder because, as a professional museum, that's what you do. Yeah. You know, you have a tape recorder beside yeah. your bed. You have a yeah. notepad beside your bed. Um, and in the morning, it just surprised and delighted him. He turned on his tape recorder and the whole song was there. The whole thing. Wow. And that's woo woo. Yes, it is. That's woo woo. That <laughs> yes. is universal that is. magic inserting itself 
into a, a, a living megaphone for the world to hear this very special message like Damaris just described to us. That reminds me too of We Are the World, you know, when Michael yes. Jackson and those groups of people sang that song, mm -hmm. it started with one voice and then it's, you know, the mm -hmm. camera started focusing mm -hmm. on everybody else. And then at the end you saw everybody singing, we are the world, you know, yep. we are the children. And, and really that's what this energy, and I have goosebumps still, by the way, uh -huh. that's what this energy is about. It's like, if we, sit back and think that somebody else is coming to save us no that that's not what it is we all have to step <laughs> up to the plate yeah you know and, and that, that vibration of the one and and everything else that i've said is it's like okay let's do this let's mm -hmm. let's wake up you know aquarius is ruled by uranus and it's also the awakener uranus mm -hmm. is the awakener so when uranus is around it, it wants you to wake up you know it wants you to wake up from the slumber and mm -hmm. so we all need to do that our at you know at our own time at our pace but it needs to happen mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah. yeah well thank you so much for that this <laughs> Damaris. all right miss krista would you like to tell us all about today's pretty rock i would i'm all <laughs> excited so how are you guys we're going to talk crystals yet again. So today's crystal of the week, unlike the adventuring that Class Act Imports posted, it really isn't. That's coming up soon. Great stone. It is Amazonite. <gasps> so beautiful. Ooh, so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous. Yes. yes. Yeah, I love this piece. So Amazonite is actually really, really, again, perfect timing. I don't make this stuff up, y'all. <laughs> All right. I just don't because Amazon, I, when it comes in and it is called forth, it's about healing and it's about healing. We'll go with the heart. Right. And it's also about creating harmony and balance. It's also about us letting go, opening up doors and paths. And I'm moving and I'm flowing as I'm talking about it. Because that's the energy of this particular crystal. It's about working with the water energy. This one's very aquatic based, very water based. It moves. But do not think of Amazonite, my friends, as this, oh, well, it's this soft, woo-woo-y kind of crystal because it's really, you know, this really pretty greeny Beautiful. blue. And it's, you know, and when you touch it and the energy and it's really soft and it's like cuddly, not like a cloud or anything, but the energy is really... Um, it's comforting. It's like it's like wrapping yourself in a cozy blanket as you sit on the beach and nice. listen to the and listen to the waves crash. That's a really great way to describe how this this stone feels. It's but don't confuse it for being soft because it really isn't. It is very strong in its energy. It grounds you um, to. It, it grounds you to your purpose and it grounds you um, back into your community. So Amazon Knight is named, uh, it has a, actually several different legends, but I'm going to go with the one that really, really, really is sticking with me today. And um, you remember those really tall, gorgeous women from the Amazon. Yeah, the right? Amazon Warriors. Yes, yeah. the Amazon Warriors. Well, that's who they're, that's part of the um, energy that this brings. It is a, it's a stone from their, their, well, their culture. Mm -hmm. And it, it is a very big stone. So it has a great feminine energy to it, but it has that warrior energy, which is really kind of funny because earlier today I was talking about garnet, which is also a warrior stone um, it, because it was used on the shields of Greek and Roman um, mm -hmm. soldiers as a, as a protection stone. Well, this one is another, th this one is the feminine version is the way I look at it. And I was reading something really interesting. Now, let me see if I can find what I was reading. Um, Amazonite imbue is, imbues you with great strength, 
Like the Amazon River, Amazonite allows you to navigate around any obstacle, not with force, but with grace and love. I'm really glad that you got to reading I about like that, that because all that you were talking about, I kept hearing Amazon River, Amazon River, Amazon River in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say yeah, about yeah. community, uh, Krista, because yes. the Gemini energy is about community. Like, like I was saying, you yeah. know, county to county, it's all about, com you know, community close to you and then expanding into a like, global, right? So it, yep. it goes with that Gemini energy that's going to be around, you know, Mercury, like I said, is going to be around in Gemini for nine weeks altogether until July 11th. So oh, wow. it goes, it goes hand in hand with that. Yeah, it what does. Is the, go ahead. Go I was ahead. just going to ask you what the rest of the uh, passage was that you were reading. I interrupted you. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, no, no, that's fine. Cause I was going to jump over from here. I'll read it. It helps you clearly and confidently express what you want and take the lead to make it happen. Nice. If this is a crystal to work with over a long-term rather than summoning its energy in quick bursts. So, and it's true. When I work with Amazonite, I work with it for months, mm. months and months and months. The other really cool thing, and I'll look to another one of my other favorite books is um, Phil Philip, the, the author of The Crystal Healer. I love him, uh, but he is so funny. He's English and he's a riot. I love him to death. Um, but in any case, he calls this a feel better stone. Feel better stone. Yes. And Why? I think, well, because it's one that helps you feel good and it helps you feel good about your creativity and it helps you feel good about um, expanding and it helps you uh, be, in on the physical level, it's really good for our heart, our nervous system, mm. um, and it, it it just really calms you and a situation. So if you think about if you're, especially people get themselves all in a swizzle the moment we say Mercury retrograde, <laughs> and now yeah. that we're talking about other retrogrades, and we three are really open about talking about them. You know, people, uh, you know, can voice out, well, the moment you hear retrograde, that's, you know, turn, turns me into a tizzy. This <laughs> is a great kind of stone because it's going to take that tizziness and it's just going to help you um, be calmer. And I really, like I said, there is no coincidences. It, when I um, looked and saw that today's stone was Amazonite and then I was doing more research because of course I have what I use it for, but I wanted to bring in a different perspective of course. Um, and bring in some other people's perspectives yep. because as you work with crystals, they will resonate with you differently each time, you know? And so that's what I was kind of trying to do. And the more I, it was really interesting because this particular time I kept seeing it as, Oh, it's it's a feel better stone or it's a harmony stone or it's one to help with illness and i'm not and the illness wasn't coming to me as a um, illness of physical it was more the illness of emotional and what is being shown to me is it's the emotions of okay we're coming out of um the COVID, you know covid lockdowns you know, and, and things are opening up all in there, however it's opening up, wherever it is you are, but yet people are apprehensive. You know, uh, we can now on the one base, because almost 90% of us have been vaccinated. So on one of the bases here, we can actually walk around without our masks on in a building. However, it's really interesting talking to people. They're like, yeah, I almost feel like I'm walking around naked. You know, I just feel like. Wow. Mm, They've gotten so used to it. Yeah, that they're, mm -hmm. that, you know, my, my my neighbor was like, I felt like I walked out in public without my bra and underwear on. Mm -hmm. 
And so, yeah. you know, it, I think there's going to be a lot of getting used to because even driving mm -hmm. out to uh, the campground over the weekend, we had to cross mm -hmm. through downtown Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we we're kind of complaining about the traffic because we've got so used to nobody on the no. roads. Yeah. And then yes. it compounds here in Arizona because we've had so many people influxing from California wow. that it feels like snowbird traffic in the middle of the summer now. And it's weird. How is it but, wearing a mask over there when it's so hot, um, Gail? We wouldn't know. <laughs> you guys don't wear it? We don't it? bother with it. Right. It, we do. We do. There's always people everywhere that are going to be concerned for themselves. They've got, yeah. you know people in their lives that have weakened immune systems, all of that. Yeah. I don't mean any disrespect that oh, way, not but I think, but I'm saying here in Arizona, because there is such a wild West mentality and a uh, survival of the fittest mentality. We kind of look at the people that are wearing the masks and go, well, you need to die in the desert. And it, it not that they do, but that's like the mentality. Yeah. Right. Okay. If, if you're not going to survive, if you believe you're that weak out here. Again, mm -hmm. that Mercury, Neptune kind of situation that I was talking mm -hmm. about. If yeah. you don't control your mind, someone else will. And that's mm -hmm. really that lower aspect of that Mercury, you know, where we have to raise it to the higher state of mind. You know, and then you've got just the, the general confusion all over the place because oh one store will have, uh, please respect our employees by wearing a mask. Another mm -hmm. store will have um, no masks required. Another store will have if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask, but everyone else, please wear a mask. So you don't know what you're supposed oh to God. be doing and where. So, yeah, yeah, I'm very, very excited to have this over, but I recognize exactly what Chris is talking yeah. about. There's a lot oh, of yeah. apprehension. There's a lot of, yes. oh, God, here comes another wave of change. I just got used to life like this. Yeah. yeah. And it's that yeah. change that's that. I'm scared. Absolutely. What, what's, what's really going to happen? What's going to happen? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. yeah. And what yeah, can no. I believe? It, well, and, and for a lot of people, um, change it. <laughs> that actually is really funny. Um, sorry, you just that triggered something I else I watched this weekend. But um, change for a lot of people is something that's really terrifying. I yeah. mean, not everybody it has changed like me in their life. So constantly, I'm like, Oh, what you mean? there something you mean my life is settled? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Whew. I'm, I have time to I have time to take a breath. Um, but yeah, but for a lot of people, yeah. it's, it's learning how to flow. They're very comfortable in their comfort zone. That's right. And they're very, you know, they, they're creatures of beyond habit and, you know, they, their habit has become almost, uh, almost automatic, you know, yeah. computerized. Yes, absolutely. Automatic. Yeah, yeah. That autopilot, it, like yeah, that's yeah. it exactly. It's on yeah. autopilot that it's not a habit anymore. It's just you know that that's how they do it. And when we had to start masking up and um, sheltering in place and everything else, you know that threw them off. And now we're opening up. So yeah, it's going to be you know it's going to be really an interesting process um, for me. I. I just always encourage people move at your own pace. Yeah. Know that there are tools out there like crystals. Amazonite is a wonderful one. You don't have to carry it as I, I mean, this one's great. I can so pop it in my one. pocket. Uh -huh. Nice you little know? slab, nice little mm -hmm. thumb it is, warrior. It is. And I, well, and this one's like only polished on this side, this side in the edges are still natural. Um, but it's a really great one. You can get them as a necklace, a beaded necklace, a beaded bracelet, so that you're wearing crystals that don't necessarily, you know, looks like, you know, you're carrying the rock store with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, I'm not going to, well, I'll stop you because I'll accost <laughs> you and be like, let me see those rocks. <laughs> All right. She's too funny. Exactly. I'm like, I want the exactly. rocks. Yeah, but no, yeah, they're they're great. If they only do one thing, 
and that is remind you let's take a breath yeah i can ground i can reconnect with myself mm -hmm. you know that that in itself is a wonderful just a wonderful thing well, absolutely. I was watching uh, a couple of things on TikTok that you just reminded me of because one of the ladies was saying, you know, to all of you skeptics that think those pretty rocks don't do a darn thing, mm -hmm. it's just my mind. So mm -hmm. what? There if you go. just my mind can say, okay, every time I look at this little rock, I'm going to think thoughts of healing yep. and I start being healthier. I don't care if it was the rock or my thinking or some combination of the two, it works. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. And likewise with, um, oh, that one just flew out of my head. Uh, <laughs> She's been too much outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. I'm usually not one who says that you've been outdoors too much, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, like, mm. but, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, but it's, it's essentially the same thing. Oh, um, they were talking about the placebo effect in oh. getting oh, yeah. over something, getting well, oh, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, and they're like, why would I internalize a chemical compound that my, my body has to figure out this, I'll keep this, get out of here or stuff it in the fat cell somewhere because we can't use it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, when definitely. I can actually placebo my way into feeling better. Because God knows I can placebo my way into being sick. You know, back, oh, yes. back when I was working nine to five, I could wake up in the morning and go, I don't want to work today. Yeah. Call into work and just be sick on the phone yeah. and make myself sick by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. if it works that way, it works the other way too. I used to do it's that when done. I was in school and I didn't want to go to school. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, well, thank you, Miss Tracy. I'm so glad that you're here. I want to. Oh, Tracy. Uh, well. Yeah. Look at this. Hi, Gail. Lost track of time. Hopped on late. I turned on notifications for when you go live, and hopefully, I won't miss the beginning. So, yay! yay. And I'm putting this up there because it's a great idea. I would love if all of you put on notifications yeah. for when we go live. Um, because who knows, we might just kind of slide individually into the group at any time yeah. and just do a five minute live with you guys. Yes. But you'll want your notifications <laughs> on to catch those when they happen. Yeah. All righty. Yes. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks for the reminder. Awesome. All righty. Now I do want to redirect you all at this very moment to give some love to our sponsor, Sue at Class Act Imports. You have all of her or information to contact her right in front of you on the screen. Take a screenshot, follow up, go out and talk to her about um, Amazonite and Aventurine and any other crystals that come to mind, especially those brand new things that she just picked up that are so amazing. And I can't wait to see. So on to the next part, I guess. Just, that would be you. Are you all? Are you all wrapped up? Are you you're good? I, you're done. I'm good. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm on toes everywhere here. So, all right. So today, <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. You're the director. <laughs> you're the one that works the magic behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, I I I've got an eight track multitasking stream, and this is like number 10, 11, and twelve. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, so today's topic is all about speaking with love with every interaction. And that is the challenge of the day because, of course, we do have Mercury in retrograde, which can cause miscommunications, unclear communications, failed communications, um, and it can also... Uh, Increase our anxiety, spike it, if you will, real quickly when those communications don't get through and you're not satisfied that the person that you're talking to actually received what you intended to send them, right? That's a big thing. They might have heard you, but did they get your communication, right? Yeah. Um, and it's really easy to pop off and be 
um, frustrated and angry and all of those yeah. little things, right? And that comes out in how our, our tone of voice, the edge to our voice, um, the, just the language that we use. Um, in fact, I have a really good example from this weekend. Um, we're packing up to go, all right? And I have three lighters because that's the kind of person I am. Okay. <laughs> We I are have three crumbs, a bick so three in lighters. my purse. That's right. That's right. I have a bick in my purse. I have a, a barbecue lighter in with the um, the barbecue stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then I've got another barbecue lighter in with the utility box, okay? And I went to, I, I wanted to, like, there was a fray and I wanted to cut it with, and so yeah. it was not a fray anymore. Mm -hmm. So I went to find the one that was in the utility box and it was not there. It had gotten thrown in with something else as we were packing. And all of a sudden I'm like, where is it? <laughs> and my daughter's like, why are you getting so upset about the lighter? Well, it's not where it's supposed to be. And I have these things in these places for this reason and, and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it's exactly that, right? Yeah. Where we can get frustrated because something that we expect to be a certain way, it's, in some cases it's communication, in some cases it's literally a matter of, I put this here, it's not there, what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. um, that we can really pop off into. So it becomes very, very, very important, especially right now. Yeah. That when we start feeling that anxiety rise, especially in situations regarding communication, that we take that moment to breathe and take that moment to center and take that moment to respond and then check in on what is really happening. Is it a failed communication? Is it a missed communication? And gather what you have inside that is kindness, and love and re-communicate from that space, right? Because honestly, and I've learned this by example over and over and over again, people can hear anything you have to say if they know that you're saying it from a basis of love, yeah. Absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. Right? And the very same sarcasm that can make, you know, between a, a, a married couple that can make an outsider think, oh my God, they really have contempt for each other. To somebody else who knows those people more intimately are going, oh, it's the Bickersons. They play like this, mm -hmm. right? And they don't either make it mean contempt to the other. They just both happen to have a clever, sarcastic type of humor that they enjoy with each other, right? Yeah. So, yeah, you can say anything <laughs> that you need to say as long as you center yourself in love first. And like if that. sometimes you forget, like we all do, I'm human. I'm very prone to snapping off when I am focused on something. <laughs> There's another really good one. I was taking the garbage from the weekend out of the truck, right? And mm -hmm. Bill comes up and asks me a question, and he's telling me that – uh he was trying to tell me that a beer can had flown out of the garbage bag on the way. Right. So I've got this huge 33 gallon garbage bag and I'm trying to lift it up over and keep in mind, we pack everything and pack everything out, including human waste is in this bag. Okay. And I'm lifting it off the truck and he's like, Hey, did you know what flew out of that? And I'm like, I don't care what flew out of this right now. Get out of my way. Because it's dripping and I'm trying to get to the garbage. And I really don't care about that right now. But I went back to him after I got the bag to the garbage. And I'm like, okay, now tell me what flew out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it was important to him to share that moment because he's like, it was a beer can. It's cool. It didn't hit your car because he was following me in my car. Uh so it was important to him. It was a moment that he wanted to share with me. Bad timing. 
but they instead of them. letting that <laughs> that failed communication bad com you know, moment color the rest of our afternoon together because he he's like hey i wanted to share this cool thing from you and ah, la, 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 bit him mm -hmm. right he's like, eh, no I'm not talking <laughs> to her no <laughs> no. Instead of going there, he was able to, you know, I was able to re go, okay, no, space, moment, share that with me. Yeah. And it was really cool. So, a couple of good examples taken from my own failures <laughs> to show you. <laughs> yeah. You know, what a difference this can really make in life. Mm -hmm. It really can. If you've got something difficult to say, center yourself in love take a deep breath and approach it from there because that is your most i love that effective angle for success thank you hey and amazing i will help with that a lot yep. that's <laughs> so beautiful being, being strong feeling good it is it's a great one yeah yeah, that's what I get. I've been out riding my bike. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. All right. So we have some things, some housekeeping to take care of. Yes, we do. I'm really excited. I am too. So we had a, um, a share last week. We had a number of shares last week. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing this out as you've been doing. I saw names that, that I've never seen before. I mean, like literally never seen before. And when I put all of the shares into a hat, one of those names that I've never seen before Ooh. popped out. And that one is Ada Diaz Pelo. Yes, that's the lady that made the rock. Awesome. Yes. 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 Awesome. She made the rock for us. Fantastic. Oh, See, good karma comes fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Awesome. Is, awesome. Good karma. karma. Do you have that rock um, in do. reach right now? In reach? No, it's in the other room. It's on, it's on my okay. own. Okay, quick go grab that because I want everybody to see what she did. Okay, okay I will. I will. Okay. Yeah, you so, go get that. Ada, if you're watching today, and we will reach out to you, but the next tax for you is to reach out to Miss Krista down there, Krista Ducharme, and yeah. let her, you know, connect with her because your prize this week is going to be coming from Krista. Crystal, yeah. would you tell her what she's got for you? Yes, you are getting a crystal reading from me. <gasps> and awesome. so, yeah, well, there, this is the rock that she made. Isn't this it is awesome? This is so beautiful. I love that it's rock. Fantastic. Oh, Isn't yeah, it that is a fantastic rock. I yep. love it. So, Ada, I can't wait. You're going to get a crystal reading from me. You need to reach out to me, and we're going to go through. It's really kind of a neat way that I do it. Rocks, see, for me, rocks communicate. And when I do crystal healings with people and Reiki crystal healings, um, the rocks I choose are... Are, are solely for what they need, the message that they need behind it. And then I also do where it's just a rock or crystal reading where I'll take um, between three and seven, sometimes eight rocks and we'll go through and I'll tell you the message that each of those rocks have. It's wicked fun. I love it. She's at work it. during the time that we're on. So she always watches the replay. Okay, oh, that's here. awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. She's going to be so happy. That's Excellent. wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Ada, for watching and for sharing this out. And for everyone who's watching, whether now or on the replay, these are the rules. Um, you like or love. We love loves, too. We love loves. Comment <laughs> and share this broadcast from this week out to your friends, out to your network, encourage them to watch. And let us know, please, in the comments that you've done that. It just makes it easier when I'm trying to find everybody who has. Um, and then you will be entered into the drawing for next week's um, mm -hmm. prize. And next week, the prize is coming from me. And I am going to offer out a 90-minute tapping session to you. Ooh. So wherever your life is not working because of some decision that you made in the past, we will clear that and give you the opportunity to create Lovely. a life of your dreams. Oh, 
That is awesome. Lovely. Lovely. Yes. Awesome so, prize. Thank you. Um, so yeah, do that. Like, comment, share, and let us know that you've done so. And next week, you'll receive that from me. All right. So I want to take, uh, let's see, what time are we at? Ooh, one minute left. So we are going to say thank you to mm -hmm. all of our sponsors, Class Act Imports, the Sue Ward Paquin. Dimensional Healing with Krista Ducharme. Ask the Genie with Damaris Samolinski. And Creative Command Coaching and Consulting with yours truly, Gail Nicholson. Remember to like, comment, and share, and watch us everywhere on YouTube, Facebook, and at gailnicholson.com. Thank you, everyone, for joining us again this week. We love you. See you soon. Bye. Yay!